If you're seriously thinking about starting your own line of dietary supplements like this brand or this brand or perhaps this one, just hold on. Here are three surprising and perhaps shocking things you need to know about before you sign any commitments or invest your hard-earned money. If this is your first time here, my name is Brian and it's great to meet you. I've been in the supplement industry for about two decades, specializing in regulatory affairs and quality assurance. And I've not only helped establish companies grow at the executive level, but I've also helped entrepreneurs and influencers launch their brands while navigating the complex world of FDA and FTC requirements. And yes, dietary supplements are heavily regulated. So let's get to it. Common misconception is that a contract manufacturer will formulate a product, your product, so that it's effective and that it can do what it says it should do. The reality, unfortunately, is that this doesn't always happen with manufacturers. Instead, what they do is they sprinkle in a small amount of the trendy or the scientifically studied ingredient so that it's technically in your product, but the amount is so low that it's not effective at all. Case in point, here's a product that I found on Amazon and they have 62.5 milligrams of ashwagandha extract per serving, but a quick PubMed search brought me to this study and they use 240 milligrams of ashwagandha extract for a stress relief clinical trial. So what gives, right? Well, a contract manufacturer wants to keep their costs down. So they're not in any rush to increase the ingredient amount. They want to make the cost appear low so that you'll bite and commit to an order. And you can bet FTC is gonna have a field day with your brand, especially as your audience grows. And if it's not FTC or FDA that's after you, it's gonna be a lawyer looking to make a quick buck and they're keeping their eye on the growth of your brand. The big takeaway here is to make sure that you're involved with formulating and to ensure that your products are indeed effective and to formulate with partners that don't have that inherent conflict of interest. Risk minimized. If anyone's seen their fair share of contract manufacturer websites, it's this guy right here. And here's the kicker, they're all the same. Now the better ones out there will tout their certifications and their third party audits and talk about their labs and how quality assurance is super important to them. But get this, when it's time to sign on the dotted line of that legally binding contract, you'd be surprised at how skewed the contract is in favor of the contract manufacturer. Case in point, here's a redacted standard contract from a large manufacturer that has all the key certifications and talks a strong game, but nowhere, nowhere does it say in this contract that they're responsible for ensuring that the product that they send you is to be made according to FDA GMP requirements. In fact, it says that you, the brand owner, must ensure compliance for all the products that you've ordered. So how does that work? I mean, you're not the ones making the product technically, right? So you would think that at minimum, the manufacturer would commit in writing that they will make compliant products for you. And this is where we would go back to the manufacturer and adjust the contract so that it's fair and reasonable for both parties. Mistake avoided. Now, if you're finding the information insightful so far and you're seriously itching to launch your brand, but you wanna do it in a way that avoids the pitfalls I've been mentioning so far, there are two options for you. One, you can book one of our signature dietary supplement sessions with me directly, or two, we've recently introduced our supplement startup essential training, AKA SET. I'm incredibly excited about this training. It covers the vast majority of topics and questions curated from past client sessions and my years of industry insider experience experience, yet I'm able to spend more time with you within set, within the training than say a typical consultation session. You can check out the link in the description down below for all of the topics covered. And did I mention that you also get our directory of contract manufacturers? Time saved. That's right, this list is one of the bonuses in there right now, and there may also be a coupon code in there for you in the description down below. So if you're interested in starting your supplement brand the right way, do check it out and take advantage of the promo. Ready, set, go. Yeah, the wife's not a big fan of that tagline, but I think she just needs a little bit more time to warm up to it. 
So let's move on. When you're shopping for your favorite brand of supplements at the stores, chances are when you look at the products, there's a best before date or an expiration date. And to that point, it's very likely that if you're working with a contract manufacturer for your own supplement brand, they're gonna be asking you whether you want a best before date or an expiration date. But hold up, if you were to choose a best before date or an expiration date, the FDA specifically states that you should have data to support your shelf life. This type of testing known as stability testing can take three months to do, if not longer, and can easily cost you anywhere between $2,500 to $5,000 per product. And I'm not even talking about the cost for the samples themselves or the cost to resolve any issues that may come from the test results themselves. And here's the rub, if you're just starting a brand, chances are the manufacturers aren't even telling you about this. To me, it's obvious and important that you need to know what your options are, not just with regards to shelf life testing, but for all operational matters for your brand so that you can navigate FDA, FTC, and other requirements, which is why I'd recommend you check out these videos here and be sure to take full advantage of our Supplement Startup Essential training linked down below. Guys, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, cheers.